Thank you. Well, we have some breaking news unfolding in Austin tonight. A state House Ethics Committee voted unanimously to recommend Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton be impeached. All this comes after a string of past and more current allegations of criminal activity. Fox 26's Greg Rugen now following this story very closely and joining us live from the newsroom with the latest. Greg. Yeah, Rashi, we've known for months that Texas Attorney General was under federal investigation, and now after conducting their own probe, the leadership of the Texas House is moving to push him out of office. It was Wednesday when a panel of nonpartisan investigators delivered their findings and testified there was very strong evidence Paxton broke multiple laws, including abuse of office, retaliation, and bribery. The attorney general pushed back a day later, accusing House Speaker Dade Phelan, a fellow Republican, of presiding over the lower chamber while intoxicated. Now, earlier today, it was the quorum report Scott Braddock who revealed that articles of impeachment were being prepared against Paxton. Now, while the House could take up the issue on this, the final weekend of the session, Speaker Phelan could also choose to wait. The House can act at any time the Speaker chooses when it comes to articles of impeachment. The Texas Constitution provides that the Speaker can convene the House for that purpose. The governor does not have to call them into session for that. In the Texas House, impeachment requires a simple majority vote of the 150 members. If that happens, Attorney General Paxson would then face a trial in the Texas Senate where, ironically, his wife serves. And a two-thirds vote is required for conviction and ultimately removal from office. Rashi? All right, Greg. Well, any word from the governor or the lieutenant governor on this? Yeah, not so far, Rashi. And Rice political analyst Mark Jones stated emphatically that both Greg Abbott and Dan Patrick would have to be fully on board to actually throw Paxton out of office. All right, Greg Rugen reporting live for us there. Thank you, Greg. Well, Fox 26 is covering this breaking news story from all angles. You can read our in-depth analysis on fox26houston.com. The story goes into great detail about the allegations Paxton is facing and also lays out the timeline very easily on getting to this point. Again, you can read it right now on fox26houston.com.